Hello everyone. Doing this recording after a long time. As kids, we used to play this game on spotting the difference between two images. Okay. So, uh, and it used to come in our time. It was in the newspapers. Now everything is in the digital media. So, like the difference which is seen here in the in these two images, uh, you know, this particular cloud which is not there, uh, this tree. You cannot see a tree here, but a tree is here. The shape within the tree, and so on. So I thought, why not use OpenCV and Python to automatically spot the differences for us? So there is this paper by Wong et al. on image quality assessment. This paper it it uses uh, image. And it uses three items within the image, the luminosity, the structure, and uh, the contrast. Okay. And from these two images, it for, for two images, it uh, calculates these three things, the luminance, the contrast, and the structure. It would combine these three, and then it would give a similarity measure. The similarity index is between minus 1 to 1, 1 being it is the two images are quite similar to each other and minus 1 mean they are quite dissimilar to each other. So I thought of using this particular uh, similarity measure to check how these two images are similar and then to find the differences we can use the contour and get the differences between those two images. So let's see how to do it in code. SK image, the scikit image dot matrix, it already has implemented the structural similarity, the paper that I have shown you. We would require IM utils and we would require CV2. So we'll import these libraries. And I'm going to import uh, the two images uh, on which we are going to perform on spotting the difference. Let me quickly show you these two images. This would be the original and uh, this original and the duplicate. Okay. So these are the two images. The thing is that the image size needs to be same for checking the similarity index. You should have the same width and height for these two images. And what we are going to do is we are going to use these two images and we are going to check which part of this image is dissimilar to each other. For example, here there is a window, here there is not a window. Okay. So let's use these images. We will read them and convert them to uh, grayscale and then we will use the structural similarity function in which you can pass these two images. And we will say full equal to true. When you say full equal to true, whatever is the difference will be uh, will be coming back to you as an image. Okay. And since it would be in floating point, you multiply it by 255 and change it to unsigned integer 8. So once you read these images and you compute the structural similarity index, you would find these images are very similar. You will get a score of 0.98. Now, further what we would do is, we would threshold the difference, okay, this difference image that you've got, you'll threshold that and then we would find the contours in this, uh, you know, the difference image and this would give us the regions where two input images differ. So, we'll take a copy of this threshold to the threshold we have passed the diff image and the diff images come from the structural similarity function. The imutils.grab contours, it will grab the contours for us. We will loop over the contours and if for each of the contours we will get the bounding rectangle and uh, you will check the area of the rectangle. If the area is very small, we will ignore them otherwise we will show it as a difference. So. You know, you would quickly notice that here it has figured out that this images, there are three differences in these images and in fact there are three differences in these images. Okay. 
so not only can you use it for the similarity but you can also use it to find the dissimilarity and if you want to look at the difference image let us look at the difference image as well this difference image would give us where in in this uh, area in this location where it has found the differences okay now it could also be used very useful for phishing attacks for example if you have a a credit card as such okay and what i've removed is the mastercard logo from this credit card and i have created a duplicate card let us pass this as the input and let us run so you would find very quickly it would sp spot where the difference is and it would also give you the difference image so you can use it for phishing attacks as well i hope this helps you in one of your projects thank you